Now everybody put your hands in. When I say forward, ever y'all say backwards, never far wide, ever. Backwards, never. I walk good. My name is Tim Maurice, and I'm the founder and CEO of Walk Good LA. My name is Ivy Coco Maurice, and I'm the vice president of Walk Good LA. My name is Marley Ralph, and I'm the director of health and wellness for Walk Good LA. Walk Good LA, we are a family that brings people together from all walks of life to fight for racial equity and heal in solidarity through the arts, health, and wellness. Walk Good started out as my production company, and it still is. We have Walk Good Productions. But then when COVID happened and when Ahmaud Aubrey happened, I remember feeling this sense of hopelessness, feeling like couldn't do anything because we were all in our homes during COVID. I came up with the idea to have everybody meet up at the park down the street from my mom's house. It was the park that I grew up in, LA High Memorial Park. And I made this flyer on my phone. I sent it to pretty much my whole contact list in my, in my phone. I told everybody, hey, we're meeting on this day at LA High Memorial Park. And we called it the twice as hard protest. Etienne called me and told me that he wanted to do a running protest. And at the time, I had just gotten laid off from my yoga gig, and that's what I was doing on the weekends. And I was like, yes, of course. I took the invitation and I met my cousin at the park, and it was so much bigger than what my mind had imagined it was going to be. I remember when I brought her up to the center to guide everybody. It was just this moment of collective peace. My cousin really inspired me to just take a leap of faith, you know? And then I have my sister, who's our vice president. She's been like the one that really brings us together. I love being inspired by the people that I love the most, doing the things that we love the most. I really wanted to dive into uh, meditation and breath work, just seeing my brother and cousin blossom in their personal practice. I wanted to know what were the ways that I could give back to our community that also resonated with me. Outside of just being a community, we're also creators. Walk Good LA, we also have Walk Good Wear, which is basically the fashion representation of how we feel. It's motivational streetwear. We have Breathe Good, uh, which is our weekly yoga class. We also have Run Good, which is our weekly run club. We also have walkers as well. We can finally live up to our name, Walk Good. And then we have Hike Good, uh, led by Deidre Walker. And then we also have Film Good. Film Good is an annual film festival. It's the first film and wellness festival ever. So we really put all of our heart and soul and creativity in not just being the brand, but wearing the brand. And so we get to put our sense of self family and creativity all in one. Being able to do this with Ivy and Etienne has just brought us all so much closer. And it really does feel like those days where we had our family cookouts or we had our dinners or birthday parties. And so to be able to experience that with my family every single weekend, once in a lifetime kind of thing. First person that taught me the importance of community and family was my mom. She's someone that is always taught me the importance of giving back. And with my dad, my sister and I would feed the homeless every Friday after school. I'm very happy that my parents instilled those values within me at an early age because it only informs what I'm doing now. And my grandmother, Ivy Ralph, may she rest in peace. She's the reason why there is a walk good. Walk good comes from a Jamaican saying, be good to yourself or you're out there in the world. Just make sure that you come back home. And it always stuck with me. I knew when I graduated college, I wanted to brand my career path as walk good because I want to remind the people who I work with, who I organize with to walk good. And I thought what better way than to honor my, my Jamaican heritage than to honor my family, and that it all started with my grandmother. People are searching for community and, and we have built a space where people can just come as you are. But I think the most difficult part is really getting more people. You know, we got kicked out of the first park that we were at because of permitting issues. 
While there were some neighbors that really loved and appreciated us being there, there were also some neighbors that did not. We found Kenneth Han Park right at the bottom of the Japanese garden. A lot of people that see me in the park doing yoga and smiling all the time, they think that this is who I've always been when that is not the case. You know, I am a survivor of gun violence. You know, I've been on a psychiatric hold and placed on a 5150. And those were some of the darkest moments of my life. And it really took time for me to heal from those traumas. But I know what has helped me in my healing journey is the more that I speak about it, it allows other black men, other black people who have been through exactly what I went through for them to tell their story. When people leave a Walk Good event, I want them to know that I showed up for myself. I think there's a lot of affirmations that we all say that I hope that everybody is actually receiving. You know, we're saying it, but are you actually believing it? I am loved. I am loved. I am exactly where I need to be. I am exactly where I need to be. With the 150 people that you see in the park, they see what is possible. So what's next is right here at the Walk Good Yard. Uh, this is the new phase of Walk Good uh, is actually holding space in a space that we can call our own. And it was only made possible with the support of Michael B. Jordan and Propel Fitness Water. I see Walk Good being a household name globally. I see Walk Good really taking over in so many different cities um, across the nation. I see us doing retreats. I see us having more studios. Uh, but most of all, I see us really touching the souls of everybody, of all walks of life. Walk Good is right now the most powerful space for Black people to come together in the city of Los Angeles. When I look at the demographics that we have and the community that we've cultivated at Walk Good LA, you can definitely see it is rooted in Black femininity. It is rooted in the heart and soul of Black women being able to bring people together and support the community. I love that. I just know that there are a lot of people who look like me, who are struggling, and suffering in silence. Listen, behind every revolution, there's always amazing black women. And behind this revolution, there's my cousin Marley and I supporting my brother in this incredible dream. And we are now in a time where we don't have to anymore. So when you see people like my cousin, or my sister, or myself, strong black people doing what needs to be done for the sake of our mental well-being, it shows that it's possible. My name's Etienne Maurice, and I'm an honorary local. My name is Ivy Coco Maurice, and I am an honorary local. My name is Marley Ray, and I am an honorary local.